Hi guys, this is Robbie from Onvelga and welcome to this new Clearhouse Studio lesson. Today's topic is palletizing application. As you know, when you connect the Onvelga app device to a dozen robots, you get some additional apps and functions. The new entry, Easy Pallet, is indeed the app focused on palletizing solution. With Easy Pallet, you can set up grid pallets and custom pallets. Grid pallets have some simple, regular pallet layouts, and so they can be configured using some simple coding. Instead, custom pallets have some complex and irregular layouts. For this reason, Easy Pallet provides a graphical editor that you can use to set up the whole pallet structure. Let's start from grid pallet. As we have said, the grid pallet has simple layout, so it can be configured using just some coding. Let's see it together. You will need to import the power up libraries so you can use all the motion and palletizing function provided by the Umberger app. Then you can create a grid pallet instance and you will start to provide some data. For example, you need to provide the configuration of the four points on the pallet corners. Then you can provide the number of row, columns, layer, and so on. So all the information uh, that are needed to build your pallet. And finally, you can acquire all those data and build the pallet. At the end, you can use this very easy construction to iterate over the pallet and execute the palletizing motion. So at each iteration inside the pose variable, you will have the correct position of each box. The real focus of this lesson is custom pallets. When you configure a custom pallet, you will use the graphical Easy Pallet editor to set up the whole pallet structure. And then the code will be very simple because you will need just to import the libraries, create the custom pallet, specifying the name of the pallet configuration that you have done with a graphical editor, and then just perform the palletizing motion. So building palletizing application with this approach will be very simple and let's do it step by step. Let's start opening DRL Studio. So this is a void project. To begin develop palletizing application, you can go here and select new Easy Palette editor file. Give it a name. I will call it my palette. And here, this is the palette file. For this palette, I will need to configure the box size. So I will insert here the dimension of my box. Okay, then I can place a label and choose the orientation of the label. Then, next step, I need to choose the palette. So I have here a set of predefined palette dimension. I can also have a completely customized dimension. But in my case, I will use Euro palette. Then I can configure the palette layout simply using drag and drop motion. So I will place the first box here, second here. I 
can rotate the palette in this way. Okay, so this is set up for the first layer. Be careful of the order because this is one, two, three, four is the actual order in which the palletizing will be executed. Then I can create a new layer. So this will be the second layer. I can go on with this approach to using this drag and drop motion to set up the palette accordingly to my needs. I can also use the magic function so I can clear the current palette and use the magic function to automatically display the boxes on the palette. And you can click on it multiple times to change the arrangements of the boxes. Okay. So I will choose this configuration for the second layer and I will add another layer. So I will use again the magic tool to set up the boxes in this way. Okay, so I can save my palette file. Now we can connect to the robot. We need to specify the robot IP address and the Umberger app IP address. Then we can click on synchronize to synchronize this palette configuration on the robot. So this palette that we have just uh, set up is now available on the robot. Now let's go to the programming part. To develop the palletizing application, I will need to use some power-ups. So I will go on the power-up library and I will add easy palette, add to project, and I will add a motion lead power-up, add to project. You can check here are the two power-up that we have just included in our project. So, the first time that you use a power-up, remember to install it on the robot. So, open the power-up and request control to the robot. And click on install on robot. Okay, now the Easy Palette Power App has been installed on the robot. Let's do the same thing for the Motion Power App. So click on Install on Robot. Okay, so now everything is ready to go on with the application. When developing new application, a good start are the working examples. So click here, get examples, and this will import a set of working examples that you can check to learn how to use the Power Apps library. In this case, I will use the custom palette example. So I will copy and paste in the principal directory of my project. Okay, let's see the code together. Here I've got some imports to import the Power App library inside the, the program. Then I've got the grasp function and the release function to activate the grasping tool. Okay, here I define the palette frame. I can choose to define the frame directly on the program, as I've done in this example, but I can also choose to set up the palette frame on the robot teach panel, and I will show you how to do it. So just delete 
this part and switch to the Teach Pendant. To set up the palette frame, go on Robot, User Coordinates. Here we will define the palette frame with three points. So select the plane option. The first point of the palette frame must be defined on the palette origin. Then the second point is in the long direction of the palette. And finally the third point is in the short direction. So take those three points on the palette and then apply the teaching point. So now you have the palette frame, you can give it a name. And then you can save it. Activate the user coordinates. And now pay attention to the frame identifier. This is the number that we will use in our code. Okay, back on the code, I will add a frame variable and I will assign the identifier that we have just found on the robot teach pattern. Okay, then I construct the custom palette instance and here I need to specify the palette name. So the palette name is the name of the palette file that you have here. So in this case, I will change to my palette. And finally, very, very easy, you have the execution of the palletizing. So with this syntax for pose in palette, you are iterating on the palette so each time you will have inside the pose variable the correct box position. Remember to specify on the place operation the frame identifier of the palette frame. OK, I can now launch the program. So I will take control of the robot and I will click on play and the final result will be something like this. As for now, we have used DRHAL Studio to set up the palette configuration. So with the Easy Palette Editor, we are configuring the palette structure with the Layer Editor. You can display Easy Palette Editor also directly on Robot Teach Pendant without the need to have DRHAL Studio. If you want to display the Easy Palette Editor on Robot Teach Pendant, you just need to call this function, Launch Editor. Anywhere in your program, you can have this function and this will pop up the Easy Palette Editor so user will be able to modify the palette structure. To have a look of how this kind of approach works, you can check inside the working example the HMI custom palette example. So, in this situation, actually I've got something very similar to what we have just done. So, I've got a custom palette instance and then I perform some motion to execute the palletizing. 
what we had in this example is the customized HMI palette developed with checkup function. You can see here the custom palette. So with this kind of uh, solution, we let user uh, the possibility to add, remove or modify palette configuration. And then we have some option uh, to start, stop and choose where to start. So there are a lot of functions here that can be useful to set up a completely customized palletizing solution. Okay guys, with this presentation, I want to give you the idea that with the Umberger app platform, you have all the building blocks needed to construct a completely customized palletizing solution. So Easy Palette Editor is the graphical editor that you can use to configure the palette layer and layouts. So in this way, you don't have to waste your time on palette formats and structure, and you can focus on what really is your solution. Clearhouse Studio is the development environment that you can use to accomplish uh, advanced function using the Power App. So very few lines of code to achieve complex situation. Finally, with CheckUp, you can build a completely customized HMI panel to let the user interact with the robot in a very easy way. So guys, hope to see you at the next Deerhouse Studio lesson. Bye bye.